Hey guys, Andre from Chrome FX Films here, and I will be teaching you how to make a cool looking hologram effect in Unity. The version I'm using is Unity 4, but the code and assets and basically everything I'm going to do in this video should work in Unity 3 or 2.6. So in this scene, I have two objects in my main camera. The two objects are just normal cubes. One is called front panel and the other is called back panel. These cubes are just normal game objects that you can get in this menu right here and I'm going to undo that. So they're right next to each other. As you can see, one is in front of the other and I will explain that later on. So these will function as the two hologram panels. One in the front, which will have a sort of a hexagon linking effect and the background will be stripes that swipe that kind of good that the uh, drawing effect. So it's like the hologram is being projected and I'm going to make these two textures in Photoshop. So let me open it up here. And this is Photoshop CS6. Uh, previous version CS5 or CS4 or just about any version of Photoshop should be able to do this. So File, New. I'm going to make this 1280 by 720. Alright, let me zoom out a bit here. So I'm going to import a hexagon texture that I made in Windows Paint. Here you go. I'm going to erase the background with the Magic Eraser tool. And there you go. Let me resize it. It seems a little bit flat. There. I'm going to move this right here. And I'm going to duplicate this multiple times. I'm just skipping through here, making this quick texture so I can import it in. And then you can tweak it however you want later. Alright, so I'm going to save this. Alright, so I have the first texture in the software. Now I'm going to make this blend a little bit together. Let me change the size a bit. I actually changed the canvas size so it would match better. I'm changing the material here so I can make the alpha texture a little bit less so it can be transparent. So we got the first one. Now let me go back and let's make uh, the second one. Let me find out the size here though. Uh, 1181, 677. Alright, and this is going to be the background now. So I'm just going to make some quick stripes here. It's a little light. All right. Let me change the camera size again. Getting it as close as I can. Uh, when you're making this, you can tweak it however you want. All right, and I'm going to save this as hologram back. So now we have our two textures. Oh, uh, is it still saving? There it is. I'm going to make this transparent again, and now you'll see the stripes. All right, so that's step one. Now we got the texture. Now let's work on the script. Now I'm going to open up Mono Development here. And this is a, a default C Sharp script. Uh, and I just named it um, Animate UV so it matches the name in the uh, project column. So the first thing we're going to do here is we are going to uh, create some variables. So this is going to be a public variable. 
and an integer. We're going to call this mat index. And that will be equal to 0. We're going to create another one. It's going to be a vector 2. We're going to call this anim rate new vector 2. And we're going to put in our coordinates here. All right. And we're going to create one more. This is going to be a string. And this is going to be, to be texture name. We're going to equal this to, right, here we go, underscore main texture. Ah, not text, text. There you go. Actually, we're going to create one more here. Give me another vector too. This is going to be the uh, offset. All right, there you go. And we're going to actually remove this start. We're going to change this to a late update. Okay, so this will be offset. And then rate. And we're gonna multiply it by time dot delta time. Okay, it's line one. We're gonna do an if statement here. So if the renderer then renderer dot material uh, open bracket mat index close bracket dot set texture offset there it is open parentheses texture name comma and offset and close parentheses all right and that should be it so this is going to uh, the offset will create the sliding effect so I'm going to add this on the front panel here. Ah, I misspelled vector. All right. Ah, it's materials, not material. All right, and the error is gone. So now I have these options here. And if I play the game, it's sliding to the right. So let me slow it down a bit. Here you can change the direction by dragging the x-axis and the Y. Okay, um, I like that. So we'll do negative 0 0.15 and negative 0 0.15. And then the back panel, we're gonna add this script again, and we're gonna make the X zero, and we're gonna make the Y 0 0.1. And when we play it, there you go. Let me speed it up a bit to 0.5. And there you go. Oh, okay. As you can see, my texture is a little bit messed up there. Uh, but if you do, if you are using a seamless texture, that that isn't really an issue. But I just made that really quickly, and I clearly made it wrong. But I'm sure you could do better. So, there you go. That is your hologram effect. And you can add at this point, you can add 3D text to have a cool uh, illusion of the hologram displaying. Uh, actual texts and just having objects pop off of the screen so let me just say hologram and I will move this in front of the hologram position it so it actually looks like it's in front And that's it, guys. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any suggestions for future tutorials, please leave them in the comment section, and I will make sure to read them. I'll see you guys next time, and have a great day.